I talked to Curtis before I put him in, and I said, uh, you know, these, these moments are made for seniors. It's your time. And he really stepped up in a big way when they started making the run. He'll take the three. He does it again. It's amazing in some big games how been, big he has yeah. come up. You think it's time for Penn State fans to let it go. Everything's going to be fine. You're going to be in the NCAA tournament. It's going to happen. Stevens, head down to the bucket, lays it up and in, and it becomes the third all-time leading scorer in the history of Penn State basketball. You know what, he's a warrior. Give the kid a lot of credit um, for his leadership. Lamar Stevens becomes the third player in the history of Nittany Lion basketball with 2,000 points. Obviously, the individual accolade is nice, but he'd rather win games. throws it down. The Nittany Lions walk into the Breslin Center and knock off Michigan State. This is the Penn State Basketball Story, presented by Pepsi. Back to the road for the Nittany Lion basketball team as they take on Michigan tonight. I think both teams are actually better than their record, and their records are both pretty good. Especially when you go on the road, you have to bring the concerted defensive effort. Lamar Stevens, though, he has been their anchor, their most consistent player. He's their leader. He's the player who's been in this scenario before and has beaten Michigan before. 32 straight double-figure games for him and counting. Everything you got for the minutes that you play, give it up for your teammates. Play with the same edge and the same great attitude that you had on Saturday. That's what it's got to be for 40 minutes in this game. If you do that, if you do that, the score takes care of itself. Penn State wearing their pink and black tonight. The black jerseys with the pink trim. And as usual in the Big Ten, we expect a tight game with some significant ramifications as the season wears on. Hey, we all we got and we all we need, man. Let's see that all out there today. Out of two on three. One, two, three. Out of two. To Stevens for three. <laughs> and five straight. Steal by Watkins, he picked the pocket of Teske. Down the floor, lays it up, and in past accounts of the foul. This is like a Clydesdale winning the Kentucky Derby. He is such a good barometer for how well this team can perform, especially on the road. Watkins now intend to shoot. There went Brockington into Stevens, low block near side. Four to shoot, Stevens. Got Johns into it, the jumper falls, and it'll go to ball. Byron Jones far wing to his left, alley-oop, Watkins tipped it in with the right hand. That's excellent work by Mike Watkins. That was extremely difficult. Byron Jones backdoor, John Harris slam dunk. 14-nothing run for Penn State. Into the arms of Stevens, who has his fifth rebound. End to end, attacking Teske with the right hand. Jones for three. Curtis Jones knocks down the triple. Straight on three. Curtis Jones is good. That's back-to-back -back threes for him. Too many open looks. Uh, we have a great scout on the court. Uh, we watch film on every opponent. So there's no surprise. For example, Curtis Jones, who just lined us up and shot it right in our face. Uh, that's unacceptable. Jones drives, Curtis lays it up left hand and going. He is going nuts in this game, this half. To near quarter three, Eli Brooks. No rebound by Curtis Jones. He runs down the floor with Wheeler. Keeps on going himself. And one. And basket counts on a foul by Curtis Jones. Road wins in the Big Ten or a slice of gold. And the Nittany Lions get a gold bar tonight. By the way, 11-0 in the regular season in the black and pink uniforms. This is a win that's going to look real good on that resume. You come here every game, every game's going to be like this. Every game in the Big Ten is going to be a fight, so just be ready to play. Everybody keep buying in, keep being all-stars in your role. Does everybody understand that? Guys, this is the only third time in Penn State history that they won this building. So I'm really proud of our group for coming in here, and we know how difficult it is to get a win on the road in any place like Michigan. It's always hard. So proud of our guys. Curtis Jones in the open court, gets the rebound with a behind-the-back dribble, keeps on going, lays it in. That was what a spectacular play! Curtis Jones, who finishes with the right hand. Curtis Jones, goal! Beautifully done.
My name is Curtis Jones from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm studying education here in the master's program. I talked to Curtis before I put him in, and I said, uh, these moments are made for seniors, and it's your time. And he really stepped up in a big way when they started making their run. Uh, we have great belief in him, and, uh, and he played with that type of confidence and swagger. I just tried to stay ready, and then when I got the opportunity and a couple shots start falling, I just tried to continue to be aggressive and help the team. What drew me to Penn State was the master's program in education. Basketball-wise, Coach Chambers and the players here, I really felt comfortable when I visited. All time, my favorite player is Gilbert Arenas. I think we kind of have a similar game. Mr. Offense, he's a microwave off the bench. Around the same size. I love the way he scores in different areas. Threes. He'll take the three and a double-digit lead. Pull-ups. Three ball, Curtis Jones, good! Gets to the basket. Curtis Jones against Wahop, drives on him, lays it up and in. After my playing career, I want to coach and get involved with the youth in my community, whether it's that helping kids get scholarships or just working out training different kids. My favorite basketball memory will probably be my freshman year. Uh, we beat Kansas in Hawaii. So yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> That's the next game on the schedule. You know, it's been, you've been so, you've been removed from there for, for years. You've had a place in between. He's really a mature kid. He's not a kid, he's, he's a man now, he's mature. So I think he'll, he'll handle himself real well. Definitely a little emotion, but I try to look at it as, as the same type of game. This is the Penn State Basketball Story, presented by Pepsi. Hey, big moment for us right here. There's a great opportunity for us to show that we're one of the best teams in this league, in this country. Does everybody understand yes, that? Sir. 40 minutes, attitude 03, one, two, three. Attitude. Please join Indiana and Penn State as we honor Kobe Bryant and Gianna Bryant, as well as the seven other victims. Let's take time to take advantage every time we get the play together. Attitude on three, one, two, three. Great to have you with us for game two of our BTN doubleheader. One of the best games in the country tonight. And Jamari Wheeler comes up with a loose ball and immediate two. Jamari Wheeler was that engine that could. Uh, his defense, I thought, really dictated a lot of this game. I mean, he, he was fantastic. Watkins trying to change it against Paul. Oh, it takes it two hands. Curtis Jones, screen for Dredd, keeps going, slices through, lays it up and in. Stevens baseline. Oh, gets the reverse. Shoot. Jones against Thurl. Oh, beautiful spin. Jones is feeling it. He's not going to wait for the second half tonight. Proud of Curtis, obviously former team, and that always can go. One of two ways, right? And it went, I think it went well for us. We needed his production in the first half. He made big shots for us, made big plays for us in the second half. He's got to continue to do that. I didn't feel any different at all. I mean, some familiar faces, but other than that, it was just another game. Near corner, Lundy for three in the lead, and that one is no good. Tipped up and in by Miles Dredd. Ties the game at 28, and we will go to the halftime. We are all knotted up at 28 apiece as we get set to start the second half. Jackson Davis couldn't get the tip. Quick kick over to Dredd in transition. That one looks a lot better. Screaming at him. Shoot it again. Shoot it again. Shoot it again. I think when you give your players that type of confidence, the ball's going to find its way in the basket. Baseline green. Throws it away. Mike Watt. On the run, big man running to the rim. No, Wheeler's tip yes. Bronk trying to save it, and it's tipped into play for Penn State. Long pass ahead to Hera. Hera running to the rim for a two-hand flush. Big fella hates rims. Stevens. Head down to the bucket, lays it up and in, and he becomes the third all-time winning scorer in the history of Penn State basketball. Stevens, plenty of confidence, but he's pinned by Jackson Davis. Got it back and put it in. Last week, I 
Carlos Stevens now has 800 in his career. Feed it, Parkinson, with the one hand hammer. This game's over. The Nittany Lions, now 15 and five on the year, five and four in Big Ten play. I still think we can get a lot better. We haven't clicked on all cylinders yet, offensively and defensively, which really, you know, excites me as we move forward here into February. Head to Nebraska, land of the corn, staying at the Corn Huskers, playing the Corn Huskers. Should be fun. Is it really the land of the corn? Oh uh, no, they grow corn there. <laughs> And here in Lincoln, as Penn State gets ready to take on Nebraska, they're in search of their fourth consecutive win. This team has done a great job of getting off to great starts, and when they do, they have been hard to catch. And then there's Lamar Stevens. He's six points away from being the third ever Nittany Lion to get to 2,000. Lamar has started every game of his college career. This moment, appreciate this opportunity that you have to go compete on the road together for 40 minutes. That's what it's gonna take. That's what it's gonna take. Embrace that moment. Attitude on three, one, two, three. Attitude. The 24th ranked Penn State Nittany Lions take on the upset minded Nebraska Corn Huskers. Good save by Stevens. Top of the key, three to tie Myra Jones. Good. Really nice pass out of the post. Up top for to the lead, and it goes another, another three. three. Short rebound, Hera lays it up and in. Two on one. Burke tries to do it again, but Stevens goes up and denies him. Stevens. Goes to the bucket, stumbles, lays it up and in, and Lamar Stevens becomes the third player in the history of Nittany Lion basketball with 2,000 points, joining Taylor Battle and Jesse Arnell. You know what, he's a warrior. You know, give the kid a lot of credit uh, for his leadership. And uh, I think he's, you know, obviously the individual accolade is nice, uh, but he'd rather win games. Lundy straight on three, gone, and Penn State has their biggest lead. 38-33, Nittany Lions at the break. Eyes the baseline, lays it up and in, and Penn State leads. That was really good half-court execution. They swing the ball, and they isolate Stevens one-on-one -on, -one on that side of the floor. Alley-oop, walking, slam, dunk. Timeout. Rocking in the lane, say. lays it up and in, the basket counts, and a foul, and he'll be at the line. Because they have Rocking to Sean, he just brings a spark to this Penn State team. And a turnover, Wheeler so fast, up the floor, lobs it up to Stevens! Jamari Wheeler setting up his teammate Lamar Stevens on a pretty transition dunk. Rebound Wheeler, and he runs with Dredd. Three on one. Goes down, feeds Byron Jones, lays it up and in. Jones lobbing and Watkins one more time. I still think we can get better. I just said that to the team. Guys, great job. Never won here before. So we're going to take this victory and go home. However, it's scary to think that we can get a lot better. We just keep that growth mindset, be the best team we can be by the end of the year. This is the Penn State Basketball Story, presented by Pepsi. Great trip coming up. Great job. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to welcome you aboard. Just 759092 on route to Lansing.
Welcome everyone to the Breslin Center where tonight the Nittany Lion basketball team goes in search of its fifth consecutive win as they take on Michigan State. They're bringing a team that can beat anybody anywhere this season and this would be the signature win of the year. It has to be a game for the Stars. Big Ten title implications here on the line. It's about us and us playing great Penn State basketball. They want to be the first Big Ten team to win here this season. This is going to be a great game, a terrific atmosphere. The fans are great, they're loud, they sell out, and they're into basketball. The end zone is rocking here. Believe in yourself tonight. Believe in each other. It's a new era of Penn State basketball. Let's put that tonight, man. Let's go. Yes, sir. Roll kill! Roll kill! Let's go. Last it on me. One, two, three. Let's go. Penn State does control the tip. There is that matchup with Hall. Spins his way in on the freshman that gets the roll off glass. Big time take by a big time player in this league. Jones their way. To his left. He'll take the three and it's gone. Jones makes the head fake, fires and scores. He is red hot. Stevens, far wing, shot clock at two. From the elbow, got it. Wow. Mar Stevens absolutely earned that one. 7-0 run for Penn State. Alley oop! Watkins oh. throws it down. Terrific read by Jamari Wheeler. A near turnover, and it is a turnover. Rockington, here's Jones in transition. Got it! The second he crosses the logo, he is in range. As Dredd gets his man in the air and drains the three. Stevens. I love stuff right there. Near side, works on Hall, backs him in, up for the lead, dances over the rim, and good, and Penn State retakes the lead. The Nittany Lions walk into the Breslin Center and knock off Michigan State 75 to 70. They played well, give Pat credit, give their team credit. They were the stronger, tougher team. And tonight, and that's the difference in the game. I'm incredibly happy for my, my team, my staff, and my program. We're climbing, that's for sure, we're climbing. This is a huge, huge win for not just Penn State's team this year, but for Pat Chambers' program. You win a game at the Breslin Center, that is major league for Penn State. These are huge wins, and they're doing it over and over and over. This team can do damage, not only in the Big Ten, but in the NCAA tournament. That's a great team. You know, Cash Winston is one of the best players in the country. Coach Izzo is one of the best coaches in the country. And each year, they're, you know, they're tough to play, and playing in the end zone is never easy. You know, it shows what we're capable of. Thanks for coming out, everybody.